JJC is working really hard to make sure we have a safe campus for employees and students and faculty when they return. Um, when you arrive on campus, you'll see that we have some social distancing markers down on the ground just to help remind everybody to keep that six feet distance from other people. As you walk onto campus, you will come up to the, this sign. There will be a campus police uh, personnel stationed at the hands-free thermometer stations and they will ask you this question. Um, after you are symptom free, um, they will ask you to stand in front of the hands-free thermometer. At that point, the hands-free thermometer will register you and two little lights will come on and you'll get closer and it picks up your temperature at your tear ducts. So that's a very accurate reading. One of the things we've noticed as you approach is if your mask is completely covering your nose and mouth, sometimes you need to lower it to be here so that it, it can actually read your tear ducts. Um, the machine doesn't like uh, sunglasses, so you'll have to remove your sunglasses. It is functional with normal eyewear. For privacy issues, we have turned the thermometers away from the line of people, and the only people that can see the, the temperature reading themselves are you and the campus police. Yeah, so I think it's important that we're um, doing a self-screening and taking temperatures upon arrival. Well, we did a complete walkthrough of every space on every campus to identify areas that couldn't be social distanced um, and also very high transaction areas. So as you come onto campus into those high transaction areas, you will see plexiglass guards that were put up um, to protect the the staff members as well as the people arriving on campus. The custodial department has committed to getting into closing down restrooms every two to three hours and thoroughly sanitizing uh, those restrooms. There, you'll also see an increased presence of custodial throughout the day, um, wiping down high touch areas, both in the public areas as well as office suites. You'll we'll also see in the restrooms that the hand dryers have been disabled and paper towels have been provided. We have increased air turnover rates for outside air to the maximum that we could increase them. Typically, we would change our HEPA filter filtration uh, quarterly. We're going to do that monthly. Wearing the mask is so important. It prevents the spread of the pathogens or the germs going from a person who is sick or might be carrying the disease to everyone around them. So wearing the mask, vital. But hand washing, hand washing cannot be overstated. You wanna wash your hands at least 20 seconds with soap and water. If you are sick, stay home. It's really important to stay home. Everyone's safety and well-being is the most important thing here. Do I have to wear my mask all of the time? Yes, you have to wear your mask all of the time. The one exception is if you are in an office by yourself and no one else is there. Proper use of the mask. I'm going to have clean hands, first of all. I've washed my hands with soap and water for 20 seconds. And then I'm just going to touch my ears, cover my chin, and make sure my nose is covered. And I'm going to keep it there. I'm not going to move it around. <clears throat> I'm not going to wear it under my chin. I'm not going to wear it as a headband. I'm going to keep it in place and avoid touching it at all times.